Blog Talk Radio. Hello and welcome back to A Better World. This is your host, Mitchell J. Rabin, and I'm very glad you're joining us again today. Today, uh, we're going to be doing a very interesting exploration into indoor air quality and uh, how to create a healthy home. And we're uh, very grateful here at A Better World tonight to have a, a dear friend and colleague with us, Jim Roby, and his colleague, Marco Volk, who will be joining me for the hour to discuss the uh, work they've been doing. Let's turn our attention now to uh, the fluorescent light bulbs, which have now, interestingly, been outlawed. They will not be manufactured anymore since, what was it, last June or July? I'm talking about the older light bulb. Which, yeah, the, I'm in, sorry. the incandescent, incandescent, the incandescent the light mass- bulb has, yeah, yes, the last, the last factory closed, I believe. You can't they don't even make them anymore, so it's not like you, you know. What's interesting you though, I have a, I have a German scientist friend who I had on the radio show a couple of years back, Christian Opitz, who made a case for the incandescent, and he said, from an environmental point of view. It was actually a good deal better than the uh, the replacement of the uh, fluorescent bulbs. The very slippery slope is that all of these complex fluorescents cannot be disposed of uh, in the garbage. They all have to be uh, disposed of in a proper disposal spot, like Home Depot right now will take the uh, take them. But they're going to have a record of it. The new light bulbs, they have mercury in it, right? We all know that, right? Yeah. And, and when, those, when those light bulbs break, the mercury actually, like Jimmy was saying, contaminates your house. And I, I believe that if one breaks, and it, it's, I believe it's eight times the exposure allowable limit that OSHA for an adult, and I think it's like 8,000 times exposure limit for a child. And they have a whole process how to clean those up. Now, we clean those up, right, and they say that 30% of it gets blown into the air of the house, so you have to open windows, you got to leave the house, you got to shut down your heating system. Then if you dispose of it in a dump, well, guess what? There's 70% mercury left. That's just going to get into, what, our groundwater and our soil yep. in the dump. So, and then we're going to drink it. Yeah. 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 So oh, it was it's unbelievable. Was- How in the world did these light bulbs, Pass OSHA or the EPA for that matter. I have no idea. I think that they were talking about it, and we were all sleeping. We should have been listening to the news more. And it's a little yeah. bit late now. It's a little bit late because they shut down the last plant, so we're kind of stuck with these compact fluorescent lights. And but the, now the good thing, the green people like them because well, that's they, not really true. We we have a real, we have a very real alternative, and I'm working on it. And that's LED lighting. Oh yeah, LEDs. LEDs work very well. It changes uh, the game. Completely changes the yes. game. Yes. Yeah. There's no mercury in the LED, and I think that is no. going to become very popular. Yes. I think these are going to become outlawed, just like the incandescent bulb. But it can't happen soon enough, because you exactly. can go to YouTube and and see the kinds of burns that people have experienced. From these um, these kinds of light bulbs, it's, it's scary. I, I, it's some some German scientists, I believe, state that they even cause cancer. You know, they can cause yeah. cancer and skin burns. And so I yeah. have no idea. I, I have no idea how this came to be. It doesn't even make sense. But we, we, it's here. It's here, and that's it. You know, we exactly. have to deal with it. Well, I'll I'll, I'll be bringing. LED lighting that's connected to photovoltaic, meaning it's immediately, by definition, off-grid in the upcoming future, so stay tuned. Anyway, I want to just thank you both profoundly for 
this incredibly rich information and education that you have shared with me and my audience. I know there's a whole lot more to cover, and I would really like to invite you back on another occasion, and we can pick up where we left off. Uh, I'm so glad that you joined us for this uh, really enlightening show. There is so much material here that it's hard to cover all in one show, and we have obviously extended a little bit today. Our website is www.abetterworld.tv, abetterworld.tv. We're on every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight and Standard Time, depending on the season, and uh, very much appreciate your being part of our our community Get on our newsletter if you're not already at that very same website, and stay tuned.